Hi, I'm Margaret Harding McGill, a technology reporter for Politico. The internet affects every aspect of your life, but the way you use it, streaming TV shows, doing business, everything could change forever. Welcome to the debate on net neutrality. But what is net neutrality? To understand the debate, it helps to understand how the internet was built. Here goes. In the beginning, there was a series of tubes. Just kidding. They were actually phone lines. Remember dial-up back in the 90s? Data traveled to a modem, through phone lines, to another modem, and another computer. You've got mail. Web pages proliferated. The World Wide Web was born, and telephone companies saw a future in it. They developed digital subscriber lines, or DSL, for faster speeds. By the mid-1990s, cable TV companies realized their cable lines reached most of the country, and they were already built to carry video. Now the internet could carry even more information at even faster speeds. Then cell phone companies saw they could provide internet over the air, and wireless internet was born. By now, the internet had taken off. New websites provided all kinds of content. The internet became a big, crowded, and competitive landscape full of online stuff. And this stuff became a huge and growing part of our lives and economy. But what rules should govern the internet? What if the private companies that built the physical infrastructure, those phone and cable lines and cell towers, disagree with the people who create the content? And who is in charge of making the rules anyway? For the answer, you'll have to watch our next video.